A badass is determined to grow, disciplined in the process, and dedicated to the goals. Flipping the format on a fear of failure. A fighter trains with the best and wins with a KO. Kelly Orchard's podcast for successful badassery. Turn up your energy with Wednesday Wisdom. Here again is Kelly Orchard. Certifying badasses, one podcast at a time. That's right. I am certifying badasses one podcast at a time. In fact, there's a little bit more than that. You know, I'm certifying badasses coming up on November 19th uh, right here at Michelle's Place at my badass certification class. More details on com- coming up on that for you a little bit later in the podcast. It's Wednesday Wisdom. It's actually the only podcast I'm doing this week, so I might change the name from Wednesday Wisdom to just, you know, hey, Kelly Orchard's podcast for Successful Badassery at Publishes every Wednesday. Um, I am going to just uh, kill Fruitful Friday. Why am I killing Fruitful Friday? I'm not really killing it. So um, here's the deal, my friends, my badasses that are just discovering. I also have another podcast called Kelly Orchard's Apple of Day, which is 60 seconds on wisdom, success, personal growth. People are discovering it. I'm really happy about it. But, you know, Fruitful Friday was just kind of a, you know, reminder about the apple a day. So, uh, and I'm finding that most of my audience prefer, likes the Wednesday wisdom the most. So we're going with Wednesdays. And, of course, Mustang Monday is going to come back. But uh, I'm just revamping it. Um, because what I've decided is that the only people that are allowed to do a Mustang Monday with me will be actual certified badasses. Most of them, I will tell you, have been certified badasses but sometimes I was just you know too eager (laughs) to get somebody in the car and it's like hey wait a second you're going to be certified if you're going to get in this car and be one of my one of my badass tip people so um it's working out really well I'm going to probably just like publish the Mustang Monday once a week why? Because I because I don't drive the Mustang every day anymore. I only drive it on Mustang on Mondays. Uh, back to the reality of Mustang Monday because I did I did purchase um, an F one fifty truck. I think you might have seen that in some of my social media posts. I'm calling the truck the Mustang's big little brother. Why? Because it's bigger. Looks just like it though. It's red, same color red with the black interior. So it looks very cute. I like it. It wasn't planned that way. No. I do have a thing about red cars in my family. In fact, I have a little short story, actually a series of stories that I want to write, series of short stories and put them all in one book and call it Red Car Dreams. Um, and each would have a different, you know, kind of a theme to it, but it would all be, there would be a red car involved in the, uh, in the storyline because I, I do have some interesting stories and, and after I've looked back on the years, it's like, and they all have a red car involved in them. So it's interesting. So the Mustang then was deliberate. That was a deliberate, I needed to get a red car. Did I understand why I was going to use a red Mustang? No. Or why I needed a red car? No. But now I'm so glad that I do because I'm using it for Mustang Monday. Who would have thought that I would actually use my vehicle as a marketing vehicle again, and I'm not in radio. But uh, then then the truck, you know, I wasn't intending to get a red truck. Uh, I was just wanted a truck. And the standard white or blue would have been perfectly fine. In fact, I've owned two white ones and a blue one in the past. But um, when I was contacted, the, you know, the, the automotive place, and, uh, and we're talking about the truck I'm looking for, and he actually has one on his lot that's got all the specs I was asking. And my last question is, what color? And when he came back and said red, I was like, I'm on my way. <laughs> so I wasn't intending, but I call it the, the Mustang's big little brother because it's obviously bigger than the Mustang, but it's younger. It's it's a 2014, not a brand new one. No, it's not a brand new. Um, it's 2014. So it's the it's younger, but it's bigger. So and it's going to be a boy because the Mustang is a girl. At least in my mind. I'm sorry. I don't, my my children are grown, okay? <laughs> I have to tell my daughter this all the time when I talk to her. It's like, okay, you know, I'm not raising children to report on anymore. And my grandkids are your kids. So I don't really need to report on them. So you get to hear about my work and my cars and stuff like that. Um, anyway, so enough of that on this Wednesday Wisdom. I'm, I'm not necessarily ran, uh, trying to, to um, randomly just, you know, ramble on here I do have a point um but the question is is that you know it's like I'm driving this thing forward and I want to know are you ready to move forward with the positive attitude and have uh, more confidence um because the badass certification class is coming up and it's proven to be a great team builder but it's also great for individuals and some people are afraid to go to a workshop you know that has to deal with mental health because they don't want to talk about their problems or be exposed to all the things that they're doing wrong in their life and I guarantee you I've been to plenty 
of these kinds of workshops myself over all of the years. This is one that has been coined as the Disneyland of workshops because it is fun. Uh, you will be engaged, but you're only going to po- focus on the positive aspects of what's going on in your life. And oftentimes we focus so much on the negative that we don't even realize that there are some silver linings or some positive aspects of what is going on with our lives. And what I teach you is how to flip the format on your negative thinking and so that you can, th- when you look at the more positive aspects, not only what, what ha- here's what happens with neuroscience, your body starts to react. The, the, the neurochemicals and the, and the hormones that are being triggered by the positive emotions that we're stirring up in this class actually improves your brain function. And it is actually um, st- uh, creating some oxytocin and some hormones that are feel good, you know, um, a- a- um, endorphins makes you feel much better. Just like as, you know, like a, like a runner would feel good after they get that runner's high and you feel really good, painless and free, and it helps you feel better. Well, when you're feeling better, you start to be able to think with much more clarity. And so when, you know, when some of these coaches say it's like, you know, gain clarity, this is what they mean. Gain some clarity, the positive psychology, the, the, the neuroscience aspect of it. These are what I teach. I'm not all about just fluff and Hey, badassery. It's like, it's actually a scientific method. I just make it a whole lot of fun for you. I'm going to be adding something to this class doing a little bit um, more special Um, first of all it's the first live class I've been able to do in two years in person Um, they've been online for the last year and a half or so I don't do them very often you know I try to do them as often as I can because it's fun I love doing it Um, but it's a lot of preparation and a lot of promotion to go involved in it and I I don't want to overdo it but I'm going to do something a little more special with this class um, because I do I do have the M wave technology for for heart math which is you know heart rate variability I'm going to be demonstrating a little bit of that also with them kind of add into this is the why the badass soundtrack works so well in the how how we're doing it and what we're doing but you know the question is is like I have I've been talking to a lot of business people in, in all aspects of different industries you know I'm not just talking to psychotherapy um, colleagues and my clientele is not just you know my clients as, as far as you know individual um um, sessions I also have a pretty vast network of business associates And uh, in all different industries. And I can honestly say, to tell you very honestly, that everyone is going through some sort of concern and issue right now. Whether you're concerned about your people that work for you, or maybe you're the concern that you're kind of worried about yourself. You've got some big changes going on, and maybe you don't have much confidence uh, in your ability to make these changes. And maybe that is what you need, is you just need to build some confidence. When we say we need new tools in our toolbox, it doesn't mean that you you can't possess those tools. You know, I, this is often, this is always how I present this to men. So all of you men out there listening that aren't really quite willing to go see a therapist or go to, you know, mental health or self-help type workshops, you know, it's often misconstrued that if you ask for help, that must mean that you're not capable of doing things. But I know a lot of people that, you know, that there are a lot of men who they get a coach to teach them better tools on how to play golf or, you know, they're, they're batting if they like to play baseball. Um, I, I know, I know of a, of a gentleman here in town that has become a coach to coach men on, um, the off-road bicycle, you know, BMX bikes. Um, and, and there's a little mindset component to it. Uh, when you when you want to be a mechanic and you want to fix cars, don't you have a set of tools that you would use? I mean, you don't go in there with your raw hands and think you're going to be able to fix that engine. Now, do you? No. And, you know, and I wouldn't know anything about that. I mean, I know about a wrench and a screwdriver, what the difference is, but I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to attempt to, to change my oil on my own unless somebody taught me or gave me the proper tools to change my oil. That's what this is about. The psychotherapy is just to provide you with some tools. And I've got the tools. Now, maybe you can't find a psychotherapist because, well, let me be honest, we're all really busy. And it's really hard. So I do have a digital program that provides you with all of the tools that any psychotherapist will give you. And guess what? When you get through it, you will be licensed to be badass. <laughs> That's right. So let's move on because so we are reviewing the end of the year. 
is what we're doing this whole month of, of October. And we're focusing on the D in the badass acronym. And D stands for decide. And that is one of the hardest things wh- that we need to do is to make a decision that you want to grow and that you want to change. And then once you make that decision, you've got to be determined, you've got to be dedicated, you've got to be disciplined. And that, you know, the, all of these words sound really hard, but they're not hard. You know, when I talk, we talk about discipline, it's like, what is your own discipline? Do you go to bed at a certain hour? Do you eat your meals at a certain hour? Do you shower on certain days or at a certain time and brush your teeth? You have a discipline, right? If it, and in your work, in the, in whatever you do for a living, you have some disciplines to show up to work, to do your work that while you're there, right? So you just need some discipline in making the decision that you want to grow and change. It doesn't mean it's going to happen overnight. I often see people, they want to make a drastic change in their life and they try to do it all at once. So is it going to be mind, body, or spirit? You know, if you, if you, it's your body that you need to work on, well, then you need to start working out and exercising and eating right. Right. You know, and when I say eating right, figure out a diet plan or a healthy eating plan that works for you. See, I've done that with myself. I've tried all these different kinds of different diet programs and a diet doesn't work for me. But you know what really does work for me? Intermittent fasting. I used to do this as a teenager. I had no problem skipping breakfast. Now I skip breakfast. I don't start till lunch. I make sure that I'm disciplined enough not to eat after a certain hour. But that's what I mean. I said, now, I'm not saying that mine is the ag- exact way that you should go. But that's what I'm talking about. When you make a decision, you've got to be disciplined in whatever it is that you've decided to do. So if it's your mental health that you want to, to grow and you want to gain some tools, well, what do you need to do? Well, you're here. You're listening to this. That's the first step. Congratulations, badass. You, you know, that's pretty much it. And then it's like, if it's your spirit, then when you need to be, I don't know, looking into some spiritual books or go, going to practicing some meditation practices, things like that. So, but can you tackle all three at the same time? Well, you could, but you might be setting yourself up for failure. So when you're talking about rediscovering who you are and what you want to do. And as we review the year, because I, my mindset is this for you. We still have two more months of 2021. And if you can review your year now, which we've been doing on all the Wednesday Wisdoms podcast this entire month of October, today is the fourth one. I've got the last two questions for you. So each Wednesday, I've asked you two questions to just sort of think about and review and make some notes, all right, and really kind of dig it a little deep. This isn't for anybody else to make a knowledge that you're not going to be writing a report on this and be compared to anybody else. But I want you to review how your year has been. And what you've learned, and they are all positive aspects. So that's so you can feel free to go back and listen to the other ones and grab those questions and write them down. But the thing is, is that if you discover that there's a hole or something missing or something that you've that you'd like to maybe take care of before the end of the year, before you start a new year, well, guess what? You still got plenty of time. And then it's come December. Uh, we're going to start really focusing on what you want to do for 2022. And I'm not going to wait until the last week of the year to get you started. So thank you for being here, badass. And so now I'm going to give you the other questions. You know, it's like, so uh, since the pandemic, many people have started to pay more attention to their emotional and psychological well-being. That is very true, as evidenced by a lot of therapists who are busy. Um, businesses and owners and managers are really starting to focus on how they're going to manage the mental health of their staff and themselves as well. In fact, I was reviewing some some information that I presented three years ago at a college radio conference. They were concerned about managing their mental health then and because that was a standing room only uh, seminar and that I was on a panel on and it, it attracted a lot of students and so it's happening even more so now you know, but today most are struggling to find a qualified therapist that is available so if you're ready to move forward with a positive and more confident attitude I got the tools for you including the badass certification class because it's just what the doctor ordered it's like CPR for your mental health it is and I've got that coming up soon but here's your two questions so question this is question number seven what new or existing relationship did you develop 
It's like, who did you grow your relationship with? Now, this could be, you, you, some people go straight with romantic. Well, you know, it's like, I don't have a romantic relationship or I got a divorce, so that didn't happen. That's not true. Well, it could be you. How did, did you, did you develop your relationship with yourself? Did you grow for yourself? Did you establish a relationship with a new business acquaintance or somebody in your community at your church? Or I don't know, maybe your student, your child's teacher, you, you formed a bond there. Uh, it could be anything, any kind of relationship that is new or that you grew its existing relationship. Who did you do this with? All right. And then number eight question is what did you create and bring into the world this year? What did you create or bring into the world this year? So think broadly. This could be anything at all that has your unique stamp on it. Uh, you know, for me, it would be this podcast. I started this, started this podcast on New Year's Day 2021, and it has been a ton of fun. It's been a great learning experience for me because it's not even just me talking into a mic and that you're able to somehow listen. There's a lot that goes into this as far as, you know, the technology and the preparation and the writing and the decision on what content I want to do and the creation of it. And then it is the recording, but then it's also the producing because you hear Bobby Ocean's of uh, voice and some music beforehand and they always change up and then at the end and I put that all together and then once I do that I've got to upload it into the platform that distributes it to all these um, devices that you're able to listen to. That is something that I uniquely created this and brought into the world this year. But that's kind of big for me but what are some even some things that you did? I've got some clients that they they created their own backyard haven in their garden um others you know they they had a baby they they brought a child into the world some ended a relationship but they found they discovered the relationship with themselves and they brought into the world they created themselves a new home uh you know so so it could be anything it could even be small you know it's like I learned a new recipe and I created a love of baking into my my world so I really want you to think broadly it could be something that doesn't even seem important to anybody else but it's got your your unique stamp on it all right so let's get into some skills and drills um you know so I love to use music and somebody else's lyrics occasionally to sort of drive home the point to you that music is the soundtrack of our lives. And when you can create a, a soundtrack, a, you know, a music playlist of songs that create happy, warm memories for you or build your confidence or give you that, that, that stamina that you need to get through whatever it is you got to go through that day, it's really, really impactful. And it really does help. So to, over the, like I said, I just got this new truck. And it has a uh, satellite radio subscription for free. So I'm once again scanning the channels. And, you know, it's like I like a variety of music. And this this, this is a song uh, that I'm going to share with you, the lyrics, that I discovered several years ago. It's, a, it's, a, it's about six or eight years old, I think. Um, but I discovered it after my brother died. And I had ended a relationship and I was, I was looking at kind of reevaluating my life again. You know, it's like my brother had died, which, and he was my older brother. So that now left me kind of t in charge of caring for my aging parents without my brother's help or, and support. And so I was trying to review that. I kind of been like knocked out, you know, of my world. And at the time I was also in a relationship that I decided to end because it wasn't going in a direction that, um, that I wanted to go. And so ended that relationship. So so not only was I grieving the loss of my brother and the loss in my family, but also the loss of this relationship and the dreams and the plans that we had made. So when this this song had a very strong impact on me, and so I rediscovered it the other day listening to um, one of the, the contemporary Christian music stations. And I had the pleasure of sharing it with one of my clients who kept bringing up something about their heart having to change and things like that. And I need to open up my heart and things like that. And so I shared this song with this individual and I just thought I would share it with you. It's just the lyrics. Um, the song is Danny Goki, uh, tell your heart to beat again. And the lyrics go like this. You're shattered like you've never been before the life you knew in a thousand pieces on the floor and words fall short in times like these when this world drives you to your knees you think you're never going to get back to the you you used to be. Tell your heart to beat again. 
close your eyes and breathe it in. Let the shadows fall away. Step into the light of grace. Yesterday is a closing door. You don't have to live there anymore. Say goodbye to where you've been and tell your heart to beat again. Beginning. Just let that word wash over you. It's all right now. Love's healing hands have pulled you through. So get back up. Take step one. Leave the darkness and feel the sun. Because your story is far from over and your journey's just begun. Tell your heart to beat again. Close your eyes and breathe it in. Let the shadows fall away. Step into the light of grace. Yesterday is a closing door. You don't live there anymore. Say goodbye to where you've been. Tell your heart to beat again. Now, there is much more to these lyrics than the songwriters, Matthew West, Bernie Herms, and uh, Randy Phillips. And the song uh, was performed by Danny Gokey. And it hit me. It struck me. It was very profound for me when I discovered the song. And then when I rediscovered it again just the other day and felt the need to share it with my client, I thought, ah, there might be one of my badass podcast listeners that needs to hear those lyrics as well and find that song because I believe it would be helpful for you. You know, I really enjoy doing these. And, and um, recently, a very old friend from high school actually shared my podcast. And um, that was that was nice. You know, it's like basically, uh, you know, reconnect and discover that I'm doing something like this. And it is it is a pleasure to do it. Um, I have a lot of fun. It's my it is actually a therapeutic tool for me. So when I share with you that I've got some tools for you, I don't mean you need to do a podcast. But, I, you know, some of the things that I do is just to help you build your confidence. You know, lunch today with somebody who wanted to go in one direction and I said you don't need that you just need to build your confidence and it's very pro- that's very you know profound when you realize it's like is it really just a confidence issue well I teach you how to flip the format on your negative thoughts about yourself. So the License to Be Badass program is basically designed to give you the tools you need to help guide you through your struggles. They are the same worksheets and helpful tips that you would get from a psychotherapy, but in the convenience of your own home. It's self-paced, independent, videos, worksheets, and group coaching to help you adjust your attitude and think more positively. And there's other benefits that go along with it as well because you'll gain clarity, uh, you'll know you have abundance, you'll have a gratitude, an attitude of gratitude, your life will improve and so will the lives of those around you. You know why? Because you are going to be broadcasting a positive signal out and it will affect the people you work with and the people you live with. I promise you, I prom- I guarantee you if you do the work. So I want you to hop on the bus to Vadasville where you're going to learn your own unique badass soundtrack of music it stirs up memories to make you feel good. Well, also badass. So who wouldn't want to be a certified badass? Seriously, my class is fun, informative, and gives you just the right tools that you need in your hands to manage your mindset. It's a workshop that's been called the Disneyland of Workshops. So if you like mood music, a positive attitude, and skills to build your team and relationships, don't miss the bus. The Badass Certification class is coming up in just three weeks, and there's still time to hop on the bus, but you got to act now because the seats are filling up fast, and I mean it. Badass Jen does a really good job, and she is on top of it, so you got to email her to save your spot, and that email is badassjen at licensedtobebadass.com. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I, I don't know of anybody. I mean, seriously, Bobby, what do you think about about being a certified badass who wouldn't want to be a certified badass sign up for the badass certification class like cpr for your mental health hop on the bus to badassville what's on your badass soundtrack